about seven to eight per thousand children are born with a heart defect, uh, which is relatively high, but of that seven to eight, some are severe and many of them are quite mild. With children, they may e either be born with a heart defect or they may have a heart murmur which uh, is completely innocent, that there's no actual heart defect. There may be heart rhythm problems. Uh, there are rare uh, heart diseases that they may develop during childhood or during their teenage years. Those are fairly uncommon. So heart rhythm problems can, uh, can occur at any stage of life and any stage during children. So a baby, in fact, while the baby is still in the uterus, can have a very serious heart problem. A fetus with a heart rhythm problem, we treat the mother with medications. Those medications cross the placenta. You need to give very large doses because a lot of this medication gets absorbed in the placenta, but some of it gets through to the fetus. And so we're able to treat uh, serious heart rhythm problems in fetuses uh, with medication. And then newborn babies can have heart rhythm problems that we can usually just treat with, uh, with medication intravenously. Later on in childhood uh, or in teenagers, teenagers often around puberty can develop heart rhythm problems um, because of all the hormonal changes and changes in their body uh, that changes the electrical activity of the heart. Often teenagers don't like to take medications or we will not think the medication is adequate and then we'll do what we call an electrophysiological study which is like a heart catheterization procedure and find out where the electrical abnormality is in the heart and we have specialists, electrophysiologists that can find that electrical abnormality and what they do is a radio frequency ablation. So it's like a little microscopic burn of that electrical abnormality. And radio frequency ablation is usually a, a, a treatment that only needs to be done once. So that's very attractive rather than having to take medicine once or twice a day for five, 10, 20 years. Uh, it's very attractive to have that procedure that then sorts out the problem. Two predominant treatments for a severe heart def defect would either be heart surgery uh, or possibly some form of catheter intervention, so some minimally invasive procedure. We can, for example, close uh, holes in the heart using special umbrella devices. We can open up narrowed valves using balloon catheters. We can open up blood vessels using stents. Uh, so there's been a lot of progress over the last 20 years what we can actually do with catheters without um, needing to do an operation. So those are minimally invasive procedures. The child will come in, have the procedure, be able to go home the next day with the valve fixed or the hole closed rather than in the days where you know, a lot of those conditions needed heart surgery they'd get a scar on the chest, have to stay in hospital for a week. It's very important when we look after children to work as a team. So not only in our Heart Centre for Children do we have uh, specialist physicians um, uh, who sub-specialise in you know, either the electrical abnormalities or the diagnosis or the catheter interventions or the surgery, but we also have um, absolutely fantastic support staff, uh, nurse practitioner, nurses, physician assistant, uh, and that makes communication much better, in many ways much safer, and the care of the family is much more intimate and much more personalized, uh, uh, that you know, the attending physicians are close by and available to consult with the family.